Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Jeff Goldstein. I'm one of the doctors with Thompson Reuters Healthcare, and I want to thank you for coming to our presentation on Neofax and Pediatrics. Uh, if during the course of the presentation you have any questions, please just feel free to ask away, and we'll begin now. What we're going to discuss today are the challenges and the concerns that you as clinicians have in taking care of medication as well as nutritional support for your patients. We'll be discussing Neofax as well as our new pediatrics offering and how these products actually answer the concerns you may have for these issues. I'll also be speaking about the importance of the product and how it can help you as a clinician, physician, nurse, pharmacist, actually give you a higher level of confidence and allow you to understand how to better manage your patients especially in the complicated settings of the NICU and hospital pediatric setting. What are some of the problems that you're having right now? Well, first of all, with medications, especially in the uh, pediatric population, the complexities of medication usage and the possibilities for error are many. Plus, given the age and medical conditions of many of your patients, these problems become even more and more important. There's also the issue right now around uh, dosing differences based upon gestational age, PMA, and so on, especially in your premature neonate population. And clearly, what we prescribe for adult and adolescent children is not what you prescribe for neonates and especially not what you prescribe for premature patients. These questions revolve around issues around administration, small dose volumes, small size babies, and also the problem of the lack of appropriate information that you may have available to you to determine the proper medications to be given, the proper route, the proper concentration, and of course proper dosing. Well, probably some of the biggest challenges you're having right now, as you all know, is that in fact there's very limited information out there for you. In fact, we know from literature searches, which we do ourselves at Thompson Reuters, that over 70% of FDA-approved medications do not have PEDS labeling. Serious problem, especially in the NICU. We also know that between 45 to 65% of medications are used off-label, and that nearly uh, four out of five children receive at least one off-label medication during a hospitalization. Clearly, there are problems out there with medication, and dosing that we've, heard, we've come to address using our tools in Neofax and Pediatrics. Any questions so far? Thank you. So, other problems we have, clearly, around drug safety. The risk for adverse, adverse drug events are significant and many. Risk is also higher in neonates, and while it gets less as we get older, the problems are still there. Unfortunately, when using proper information, we can avoid up to at least 60% of these adverse drug events, perhaps even more than that. And of these events, we know that the, large, the vast majority are the result of either overdosing or underdosing the patient, and therefore they are quite preventable. We also know that something as simple as a decimal point can result in some very horrendous situations. I'll show you some of those in a couple of seconds. As well as the less common but uh, problems regarding uh, preparation and administration. But clearly, if we look at it right now, the issues are in calculations and over and under dosing. And probably overdosing is the more serious of the two. Is there a cost to this? Well. Clearly there is, and before coming to the, today's presentation, went online, did some research, and looked for uh, ADEs that occurred. And these are taken right from the headlines of, of the papers. A child in Indiana who received overdose, hospital era. You may have recalled a few years back Dennis Quaid, the actor whose uh, twins got an overdose of heparin. That cost the hospital three quarters of a million dollars. Child in uh, Seattle Hospital died after an overdose, again recently in 2010. And that's just in the United States alone. Overseas, for example, the problems are equally frequent and, of course, avoidable. These are obviously monetary issues that I pointed out here right now, but the pain and suffering to the family, as well as to the hospital and the clinicians, is something that is clearly avoidable, and we should do all we can to help this from happening. 
So our goal really is to work with you to improve drug safety. CPOE, computerized order entry, as well as clinical decision support system, CDSS, are clearly becoming the accepted means for accomplishing this. Why CPOE? Well, hate to say it, but doctors just can't write. And when they do, it's sometimes not clear. They sometimes misspell. Whatever the problems are, there are many. CPOE was designed and, is, and helps us avoid these problems. The same thing with CDSS. It takes away the errors that occur in concentration, dosing, root, frequency, all the problems that come from administration of medications inappropriately or erroneously. So between CPOE and CDSS, these are two tools that you should be looking at right now to use consistently in all your hospital drug settings. And with the right tools, you can avoid medication errors, you can improve patient safety, and you'll improve the, what we call the comfort level, which is clearly the ability of you to make certain that as clinicians, your patients are getting the right medication at the right time with the right, right, with the right route and the right dosage. Any questions? Okay, go on then. People sometimes forget that nutrition is also medication. And clearly for us, we feel this is important, which is why in Neofax and Pediatrics, we have drugs and nutrition listed as our two major tabs in the application itself. The goal is to provide both short and long-term answers for nutritional needs. The reasons are obvious, growth failure and so on. But it's also to avoid medical complications that can occur with parental nutrition as well as complications that may occur in terms of frequency, dosing, and so on. If these problems do occur, sometimes they can go beyond the actual NICU setting and extend into uh, childhood and even to adult years. So our goal right now to provide you with parental information is to prevent these problems from happening and to make certain that you're addressing these issues before they become problems. What are the issues with parental nutrition? Well, I'm sure you've seen it in your own practice working in hospitals. Inappropriate preparation and administration can lead to serious complications, up to and including death. Also, we know in preparing PN, it's a long, complicated, and somewhat arduous process. Multiple opportunities for error, multiple opportunities for misformulation. It's time consuming, it's costly, and it's things that can be avoided and should be avoided. And what we've done right now is take away a lot of the heavy lifting involved in doing the calculation and preparation for your pharmacies to prepare the nutritional support for your patients. I will share that in a little while. How do we address these problems? Well, the first thing we do is we provide you comprehensive drug information. And if you stop by our booth in a while, we actually have a live demonstration running of Neofax and pediatrics, which you can actually test drive yourselves. Why is this important? Because as I mentioned before, most of the drugs being used in a neonatal and pediatric setting are being done off-label. So the information we provide you is patient-specific information that is pediatric and neonatal appropriate. We also provide you calculators. Why? Well, because we know the problems that can occur in doing these calculations by hand. When I think back to my residency days and when I was first starting out, working with a little TI calculator, sitting there with a piece of paper, and one of my colleagues, Dr. Alexander, in the audience is shaking his head, yes. I do the calculation, so do the chief resident, so do the head nurse because she trusted nobody, so do the pharmacist. So about an hour later, it was finally approved, and luckily most of my calculations were, were correct, but even so, no one took that chance. Using a tool like Neofax, especially with the premier version right now, the calculations are done in literally milliseconds and it's patient-specific information. We also provide you information that's specific to the patient. And for example, let's say you're calculating a medication like dopamine, we're looking at the route, the dosage, age specificity, even what it's being dissolved in right now. You're gonna put it in D5, saline, whatever it might be for the medication. We take it into consideration. And because sometimes, even with tools like ours, people can make mistakes. When a medication is ordered out of range, we tell you that as a big splash screen that occurs. So we're constantly checking your work 
much like your attending would do when you were a resident, or much like you'd be doing right now if you were the attending for that resident in the NICU setting. My point is, is that these calculations are critical, they're mission critical, and we do that work for you right now. Okay, next slide. We also provide information for you in terms of nutritional order entry. Parental nutrition looks simple, it's actually quite complicated. And for those of you who will stop by our booth, we'll actually show you the nutritional formulations we do right now. We go through a long, complicated process of developing everything that goes involved in a comprehensive PN order. What we also do for you is allow you to review stock solutions, stock medications, stock nutrition, and you can adjust it specific to your patient's need. We don't tell you how to practice medicine. We give you guidelines, we give you evidence-based medicine information, but the final decision rests with you. And you know your patient better than anybody else, so we expect you to review it, make your modifications, and then release it. When you do that, we also check for things, for example, like calcium phosphorus solubility, we check for route, and so on. When you're finally happy with that, then and only then do you release it. We're still checking to make sure things make sense, but the final release is done by you. And at that time, the order goes electronically from our system into your order entry to the pharmacy, and then based upon your systems, we can interface with your compounders and so on. But you have that level of security knowing that using, we're using evidence-based medicine guidelines, but allowing you to adapt to best practices specific to your hospital, specific to your patients, and specific to your own expertise. We also provide information around uh, pediatric formulation also, so that you can do approximately 100 different infant formulas, that is stock formulas. And one thing I often advise, uh, especially in the pediatric setting right now, is it's important not only for you to know, this inf you to know, know, to know this information, it's also important for your patient's family to know it also. If you're, going to give med if you're going to give a formula to a patient's mom to bring home or a caregiver, they need to have the same notions that you have. And oftentimes they'll go to a hospital and say, fine, you have the information there, hit the print button on top of the screen, print a copy, and give the same thing to the mom or the caregiver. Why? Because they become an extension of your practice in taking care of your patient. And it's mission critical for them to have that level of information. Don't keep it to yourself, share it. And that's why we make it available to you to print this information also. And we have about 100 different infant formulas out there right now, both for pediatric and neonatal. Use the tool, maximize the use. I'm getting my warning sign here right now, so to wrap up, I will share with you right now the information is available online. You can get it on iPhone as well as iPad and in your hospital setting. Little side comment, let your hospital buy it and then you tap into it. And clearly we also provide this both in the basic online version, which is just the book information, which you have, we have right now, and the premier allows you to do patient-specific information for your patients drawing from your hospital ADT systems. With that, I thank you for your time this afternoon. Any questions you may have, please feel free to ask.